Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm gonna show you how I got this drugstore, AKA affordable makeup look. How y'all doing? So first, we are going to use this NYX Jumbo Pencil in dark brown and blend that on out as a base. And what y'all know about that cocoa bear? Y'all know a whole lot, cause I always talk about it. But anyway, I'm using that as a transition color in my crease and I am blending that very well and I'm using it very liberally cause you know how we do on the, over here in these parts. Okay, so now we're using the L'Oreal. I guess it's La Palais. I don't know how you say that, but anyway. This is a nude palette by L'Oreal. They have one and then they have two, and I'm using number two, and I'm using the deepest brown color because we're doing a smoky eye situation. So I wanna make sure that I have no spaces, okay? So I am patting it all over my lid. Getting every nook and cranny. Oh, okay, I'm gonna tell you. First, let me explain this. So now I'm blending out the crease again so that we have a nice gradient transition. All right, you guys, and I'm trying to take my time and I'm putting more of the tutorial in this video because you guys say that I go too fast or the videos are too short, so I wanted to take my time, okay? So now we're using the Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm using a color that is very, very similar to Peach Smoothie. It's still, I'm, I'm about to use some slang. It still ain't got nothing on Peach Smoothie, okay? But it's very, very close. And so I wanted to use that because it's a drugstore. And so I'm just blending that out. Remember, every time you add something to your eye, make sure that you blend so it looks like everything meshes together and you have no harsh lines, okay? So I popped on some lashes and I'm just using some black eyeshadow to cover up that duo if there's any. And now this is a liner by Maybelline. It's, I think it's called their Precision Liner. And I'm just putting it on the top to cover that band, okay guys? So now this is a ColourPop gel liner. This is in the color Fast Lane, and I'm putting it in the lash line, which later I used some shadow and it kind of disappears. So it was kind of like I did it for nothing, but hey, it's still a pretty color, okay? So then I was just putting some black at the very end, and this is Get Paid, and I'm putting that in my waterline. And here is where I put the brown shadow on my lash line, and I was like, uh, I did that for nothing. So anyway, so I'm using a color from the Maybelline Nudes palette, and now you guys, I'm using this Nivea Men Post Aftershave Balm as a primer, and I have a whole video on it, all right? So right here, I'm using some concealer by LA Girl, and I'm using their orange concealer, and I'm using their concealer in Fawn, which is what I usually highlight with whenever I use it, and I mix it together because the orange is like very orange, and I like my corrector to be a salmon type color, okay? So I'm just blending that out with my buffing brush by Morphe, and then I'm just like, I'm putting a lid on it, or I'm putting a bow on it, or I'm putting a cap on it, however you wanna say it. I'm finishing it off with my Beauty Blender. And this stuff, you guys, this foundation right here, it is my drugstore, holy grail. It's one of them. I love it. It is Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless, and I am in the color 355. And I also love their concealer, you guys. This is in the color Deep, I believe. It is so creamy, it blends so well, and it has like a little doe foot applicator. Like, I mean, what more can a girl ask for? Amazing. So I'm blending that out with my Beauty Blender. You see how creamy that is? You see how it blends like effortlessly? I need another one because I'm almost out. I totally do. So now I'm using banana powder. Now that's not really a drugstore product, but you guys know I'm gonna be doing a battle of the setting powders. So I have to try them all so that I can remember how they work, all right? So that's what we're doing here. And I'm putting a couple of layers because I'm going for that, mm, that kind of like dramatic highlight situation, okay? So as I said, I'm taking my time with the tutorial. So I'm making it a little longer. So I'm showing you this side too, okay guys? And I'm putting another layer and that's what's going down right now. But you see how banana powder looks versus topaz. It's like, it's, it's not subtle, okay? So what I was saying was you can use this because it's drugstore. And then I set my whole face with the clay powder, which I bypassed that. And now I'm using the NYX contour kit to contour my nose because I love the brown in there, okay? Now I did a very subtle, subtle contour on my nose. And I love this product too. It's the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in Q120. 
and now I'm using an elf blush palette I believe this is the dark one and you know you can get it from your local Target and yeah I slowed it down a little bit because I get too happy when I do my blush and I get to move it quick so I had to slow it down so you guys could see the outcome and this is a city color highlight trio this is the deeper one that they just launched you guys it's like collection two and I love it now time for the lippies this is please forgive me you guys I lost it at this point I totally forgot I was doing drugstore and I used some Mac lip liners okay but charge it to my head and not my heart okay so anyway I am gonna put the lippies in the description box because I can't remember the name of this one at the moment but anyway that is the look guys look number one then you gotta do your happy dance hey look number two so now I am using a Milani lipstick and I am using another MAC pencil. So sorry. And now I'm using another Milani liquid lipstick. But this one is not really opaque. That's why I go over it with this lipstick. And I think the lipstick is fearless and I think the liquid lipstick is flirt. But remember, everything will be in the description box. Okay, guys? But yeah, we just had to coat that a little bit more. But they work so well together. They look great together. So I love pairing these two. And well, bidee, 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 that's all folks. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I gotta have a little fun, you know. I gotta do my little photo shoot situation, all right? Had to have a little fun. All right, so that's it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. If you wanna see more tutorials, let me know. Have an awesome, blessed day. And I love ya. Mwah. Delano Mall, you guys. And they have a new Nick store. So I'm going to let you guys see in there. I mean, since we're vlogging and all, I might as well show you a little bit, right?